Today we are going to take a look at how to handle multiple applications with different toolkits and separate Squish servers in one test script. Let's get started. At first, some details of the setup. I use two different Squish packages, one for Windows and one for Web. Since the little test script that I prepared uses a web browser and one of the address book examples. For both of these editions, a Squish server needs to be started via command line. That's why I have two command prompts open already. The Squish server is located into the bin folder of every Squish package. And I start my Squish server for web with port 5555. And in case of Windows, Four, 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 four. But why these ports? Let's take a look at this script. Please use a port number that isn't blocked by any other software so far. Here in my script are some defines. The name of my application, the path to the Windows package, the web package, the URL for the website, both of the ports and a host. Since everything is locally, I only need one local host. Below that script, there's the init process, as I called it, which just starts the example application. To do so, we need to change the squish prefix environment variable temporarily to the path of the squish package. This is done for the Windows application as well as for the web browser afterwards. We also need to set the right wrapper for our used application and start the application afterwards. This is done here for Windows and down here for the web browser. The application start command is here and here. I also use the top level API here, which allows me to minimize, maximize and bring an application to the foreground. This is very important. The top level API does not work for Squish for Web at the moment. Once the application in the web browser is started, our real test code can begin. You just have to make sure that the script is sent to the right application, since only one application can be active at a time. Therefore, the application context need to be set to the right application. This is the return value of start application in general. As mentioned before, the input focus is also very important. That's why I used the top level API. But for now, let's replay the script real quick. The Windows application is started, minimized. The web browser is starting. The Windows application is back, some interaction is done, and now some interaction is done on the web browser, just opening the free trial form on our web page. The script replays without a problem. If you want to try this out on your own, please download this example test suite from the download link in the description below. Some additional notes at the end to the setup which has some advantages and disadvantages. The biggest problem is that you cannot record on any of the used applications. Why? During the record you need communication between application and Squish server. Since the communication is done via the Squish server which is stored via command line, the executing Squish server cannot communicate with the application and thus results into nothing will be recorded. The test can be executed from any Squish package because the communication between Squish server and the application is handled via the separated started Squish servers. You get two separate Squish server logs which can help to identify problems a little bit easier. And you can upgrade easily each of the packages individually. But how to avoid the recording problem? If the executing Squish server would also handle one of the application communication, then recording would work. To fully get rid of this problem, a combined Squish package is needed, where the Squish server can communicate with both applications without a problem. 
This can be requested by writing an email to us. That's it for today's video. You can check out Squish on your own by requesting a free trial. You might also be interested in trying out Coco, which is a multi-language coach coverage tool. If you have further questions, get in touch with us by writing an email to squish at froglogic.com. You can also reach us through social media, which are linked in the description below. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Bye!